In today's rapidly evolving technology landscape, businesses often rely on third-party IT vendors to provide specialized solutions and services, especially if their current IT team is more focused on specific aspects of their technology. Choosing the right vendor is crucial to ensure a seamless integration of IT solutions into your operations, to maintain your data security, and also to achieve optimal performance. However, with the plethora of options available, it's essential to have a thorough vetting process in place. Uh, so today I'm gonna to be going over how you can vet uh, a technology vendor like a pro. Hello, I'm Michael Kinnett. I'm CEO and founder of Itronal Networks. And every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific time, I go live on our Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and LinkedIn to discuss the latest tech and cyberspace news that might affect you and your business. At the end of our live session, I'll also be answering questions from the audience. So if you've got any uh, cybersecurity, business tech, hey, I'll even throw it out there. If you've got any questions, uh, get them ready. I'll, I'll cover them at the end. Uh, first, in the news, Google has announced some major changes that they're implementing to really ramp up security for Google Workspace. So for, so for those of you in business that are using the Google platform, uh, one of those changes really stood out to me. They're going to start requiring two admins to sign off on critical changes, uh, basically forcing a change management platform so that one admin is not going to accidentally uh, cause major issues within your platform. So definitely, definitely a, a big change uh, there. Another big one uh, is WinRAR is a very popular app used for archives or for um, zip, basic zipping or compiling files and compressing them down. Uh, it, they have had a zero day vulnerability that's been actively exploited since April of this year. Um, and it was used to breach uh, some online cryptocurrency trading accounts. 130 traders devices have been confirmed to have been breached, but the total extent of the number of victims and the financial losses is still unknown. Uh, if you have a WinRAR installed on any of your computers, it's highly recommended that you update to the latest version to patch against the vulnerability that's been exploited for the last several months. Uh, so just keep an eye on that. If, uh, if you don't know if you've got it installed, uh, maybe you want to go check or check with your IT team to make sure that they're patching that. All right, now on to our topic, uh, vetting your IT or your technology vendors. As an IT provider ourselves, we've heard from our clients problems that they've had with past vendors and some of the questions that they wish that they would have asked before making their final decision to a vendor. Uh, you know, it's always it's always a, a, a big confidence booster when, when a new client says to me, if I knew my IT could be this good, I would have switched years ago, right? So we've, we've heard some of the frustrations and not that we're perfect. Uh, some of our clients definitely over the years have had frustrations with us too, and we, we strive to improve on those. But based on the experiences that we've had in working with various different clients, um, and also the kind of questions that we like to ask and to be asked by the possible future clients who we're visiting with them, we came up with this guide on how to effectively vet a third party technology or IT vendor for your business needs. Um, I, I also want to point out that this guide can and should be used for any vendor, not just IT or technology vendors, really any vendor that you're working with, especially if they have access to your facilities, any of your data, your technologies, if they're providing software, uh, any anything related to your infrastructure and your people and your locations, uh, you should also use this to vet them too, to make sure that you understand who you're working with and you're not exposing your business to any, any large risks. So uh, with that being said, I'm gonna dig right into this guy. Uh, number one, define your requirements. It's always good to start off you know, before evaluating any potential vendors to have a clear understanding of your business requirements and your goals. You know, what specific solutions or services are you looking for? Identifying your needs will help you narrow down those vendors that align with your objectives and your business goals. Uh, next, uh, number two, you need to research that vendor's reputation. Look for vendors with a solid reputation in their industry. Seek recommendations from colleagues, from industry forums, online reviews. A vendor with a proven track record of successful projects, positive customer feedback is much more likely to be a reliable choice than somebody who just started up six months ago. Number three, assess their technical expertise, right? Evaluate their, their expertise in what you're looking for and, the, and their experience in delivering similar solutions to what you require. 
look at their team's qualifications, any certifications that they have, their overall proficiency in those technologies that are relevant to your project or to your business. Uh, number four, and this is a huge one. I could probably do an entire discussion just over this. Evaluate their security measures. Data security is, is critical in IT solutions. Inquire about the vendor's security practices, including their data encryption, their access controls. Uh, do they do regular security audits? Uh, are they compliant with any industry standards? If your business is in an industry that's required to comply with specific regulations, then your IT provider needs to be familiar with them and also needs to comply with them internally. For example, if you're in healthcare, you have to comply with HIPAA. If you have an IT vendor that has access to your data, your systems, they also have to comply with HIPAA. Uh, if they don't comply with HIPAA, you are not compliant with HIPAA. That's how serious this is. Um, so if they have access to those systems, they, they need to be under the same compliance requirements. They need to be doing the same steps that you're taking uh, to protect your systems and your data. Like I said, I could go on and on about this, but it's, it's critical that any technology vendor that you're working with, IT vendor, managed service provider, whatever you call it, you need to talk to them, have that conversation about what are they doing to protect you by protecting themselves. Uh, number five, scalability and flexibility. Ensure that the vendor's solutions can scale as your business grows. Uh, IT needs to change over time and the vendors should be able to accommodate you and your, your evolving requirements without any major disruptions. Uh, number six, uh, financial stability. Assess the vendor's financial stability. You don't want the, you don't want to invest in a solution or a vendor only to have the vendor go out of business, leaving you stranded. A financially stable vendor is much more likely to provide consistent support over the long term and have the ability to weather any temporary hiccups. Uh, number seven, request references. Ask for ask for references from clients or other businesses, partners that they have worked with that have used their services specifically for similar projects or, or in your same industry. Don't, don't just ask for them, contact those references, right? It doesn't do you any good for them to say, yeah, here's three names, contact them. Gain some insights into the vendor's performance, responsiveness, their overall experience of working with them. Ask some of the questions that we go, well, I'm going over in this guide, right? Make sure that you have an understanding of what you might be getting into and working with them. Uh, number eight, clarity in pricing. Seek to have a clear understanding of the pricing. Hidden costs can lead to budget overruns. And so it's important that you understand the pricing model, ongoing maintenance costs, and any potential extra charges. Know what's included, what's not included, um, so that there are no surprises down the road. Uh, number nine, this is another huge one. Communication and support. Effective communication is crucial throughout the vendor-client relationship. And, and we, we do this on our end too. And we ask questions of any potential new client to make sure that we feel that they're gonna communicate back to us. And then we need to make sure we're gonna communicate with them, right? It's a two-way partnership, right? When a vendor-client relationship is, is really more of a partnership. And it's important that you evaluate the vendor's responsiveness, accessibility, and the quality of their support services. Uh, a vendor who is attentive to you and your concerns and inquiries will make the collaboration go much smoother. You'll be much happier with the service if they're communicating with you. Uh, number 10, legal and contractual aspects. Uh, it's important that you understand the vendor's contract. Pay attention to the terms of service, their service level agreements or SLAs, uh, intellectual property rights, right? If, if they, who owns the data, right? If, if you're hiring somebody to develop an application or website, make sure that you're retaining the intellectual property rights for that. Uh, termination clauses, what happens if one side is not happy with services? Uh, and then any potential liabilities, right? Who's who's at risk for what? Just make sure you understand all of that. Uh, legal aspects should be well-defined and mutually beneficial. And talk to, your, talk to your legal counsel, right? Share with them that contract before you sign it. Make sure that, that there's no surprises taking that. Uh, this one's kind of optional, but I think it's important. Uh, visit the vendor. If, if feasible, visit their location, visit their office. A physical presence can provide valuable insight into their operations, into their infrastructure, the professionalism of their team, right? Uh, is their office uh, an absolute disaster uh, or is it organized and structured in a way that you feel that, that probably their operations are organized and structured and be able, they'll be able to take care of you? Also, do they have security, that physical security at their location where they're protecting that, their business as an access point into your business 
uh, through the support that they offer and the technology that they offer. So are they properly securing it? Uh, number 12, and this is, the, this is the last one. And this one doesn't always work, but you can ask them for a demonstration or a proof of concept to assess their, their solution firsthand, right? If it's software, in fact, I'm doing this right now. I'm evaluating a new security platform that will help us manage our client security, do assessments and audits, uh, help manage compliance, um, and uh, as well as helping them manage their vendor relationships and their the security of their vendors. And so um, I asked the, the software vendor, I said, hey, I need, I need to prove a concept. I need to kick the tires. I need to try out this software for a couple of weeks and make sure that it's gonna provide what I need for myself and for my clients. So by, by doing this, it can help you really gauge whether the solution aligns with your expectations and whether the vendor can deliver on their promises. Now, if, if the vendor is a service provider that's going to be providing an actual service, it gets a little more tricky, right? But maybe there's a smaller project that you can do to work with them to gauge understanding, right? Is, is hey, are, do they complete their tasks on schedule? Do they communicate regularly? Do they do, they do all the things that we talked about? Um, on a small project before you start going into any long-term uh, contracts or arrangements with them. Get to know them, make sure you're comfortable with them. So ho hopefully this guide's helpful. Uh, as, as you know, any of you are evaluating your, your vendors, um, choosing the right third-party vendor, whether it's IT or otherwise, right, requires a comprehensive approach, uh, especially when you're looking at an IT vendor, right? You have to consider the technical, security, financial, and communication aspects. And by following a thorough vetting process like this, you can you can really mitigate your risks, uh, ensure successful implementation and a successful partnership uh, that enhances your business's technological capabilities. Um, if you'd be interested in, in vetting our team of qualified professionals or talking to us more about any of our services, you can definitely uh, reach out, schedule an appointment at eternalnetworks.us slash schedule. All right, we do have a webinar coming up. I don't see any comments or questions so far. I'm going to go on to this. So we have a, an upcoming webinar uh, on end of service technology. So in, in today's economy, the temptation is to milk outdated tools, right? Say, hey, I've got a computer. It's eight years old and it's been working great. I have no problems, but beware, leaning on past its prime tech can spell disaster for your business. Uh, end of service technology, whether it's physical or whether it's software, um, right? It might help you to limp forward, but the r lurking risks are undeniable. No updates, no patches. Hackers love it. And if your data is sensitive, guess what? You're, you're putting yourself at huge risk. Uh, so ready for the fix? We're going to we're gonna be talking about that. We're going to uh, discuss that on our upcoming webinar, September 21st, 1 p.m. Pacific time. And we're going to unveil the importance of supported technology. So I'll reserve your spot today to safeguard your business's success. Um, like I said, I don't see any other comments on here. No questions that have come up. Um, so th thanks for joining today. If you're watching this after the fact, thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this. If you do have any questions come up or comments, you can always, you know, comment on the, on the video. You can message me, direct message on any of the social media platforms. You can call our office, you can email the team, visit our website, itnet.works. Uh, hope to hear from you soon, and I will see you guys next week. Have a good one.